Nowadays, I needed to conversation almost what is narcissism. I think that there's a part of disarray. That people think that a component of narcissism implies that you simply have narcissistic identity clutter. It really doesn't. I think that got me to considering. I get a part of questions and emails and stuff from people that inquire questions almost narcissistic identity clutter. What is narcissism and diverse components? I thought, well, let's do a video on what is narcissism. So what I did is I distinguished 10 components. What we'll do is we'll go through the 10 components and we'll conversation around how they calculate in or what components and how they're related to narcissism. Presently, in case you've been observing my channel, you know that I frequently say that all clutters are on a range. Narcissism is no exemption. Affirm, so in this video, we'll examine the components of narcissism and what makes it a clutter as restricted to a characteristic. So, it's a combination of characteristics that make the complete clutter. So let's conversation almost these 10 components that I distinguished. And in case you appreciate the video, it would be ideal if you like, share and subscribe. Take off any comments underneath. I adore the comments, so thank you very much. Let's get begun. Let's get into it. So the primary one is affectedness. Affectedness. I think that that sort of is trademark, central. Classic component of what people think is narcissism. Presently gaudiness is an improved or its unlikely sense of predominance, uniqueness, esteem, or capability. It's communicated either unmistakably in preposterous desires, uncommon or unlikely tall yearnings, and self-centeredness. Or it can be covertly. This can be in diligent feelings and fantasies of unfulfilled desire or boundless control and victory, brilliance, excellence, or ideal connections. Presently, it's imperative to realize that there's plain and undercover gaudiness or narcissism. Your obvious, I think, is what a part of us anticipate, right? Is that it's self-evident? These individuals like walk around and they're all grandiose. And they think they merit all these superb things. And all this other stuff. At that point there's clandestine. Undercover is much more certainly dubious. Much more confounding for a part of people. Since, on the surface at first, these people appear exceptionally humble. They can seem very contrite, things like that. But what happens is over time, you realize that it's this. It's a really clandestine sort of vainglory. The way that I like to characterize it and clarify it to either clients or mental well-being suppliers. When I'm doing preparing is that they endure more than anybody else will ever endure. That their negative encounters are so extraordinary and so special that no one else could get it. That's a component of affectedness. Their vainglorious enduring. That other individuals can't get it. A parcel of times, the components that they're talking approximately tend to be exceptionally mellow. They may not continuously be, but ordinarily they are. Affirm, so that's the primary component. 
which is gaudiness. Presently let's conversation approximately the moment one. The moment one is variable self-esteem. Variable self-esteem. Now this variable self-esteem. It's an rotating between states of sort of overconfidence, predominance, and emphaticness. Predominance, confidence. With this sense of mediocrity and uncertainty, what can happen here is since it's variable self-esteem, when they experience a circumstance they can't control, it harms them and they cause what's called a narcissistic wound. They detonate and they just go off. And they have seethed scenes and things like that. That's cause they're so harmed. A part of individuals on the exterior are ordinarily exceptionally shocked. They're like, where's that coming from? Since the offended is as a rule not a really unmistakable or coordinate offended, possibly, that it is something that they've translated as harming them, as being pernicious to them. But the normal individual may not. So it's not like a coordinate assault. It may be something that's very inconspicuous, which may be not texting back when they anticipate, not giving them the high within the morning, or the embrace within the morning, or the kisses, or whatever it is that they anticipate. Since on the off chance that you do not, that causes a narcissistic wound. And they at that point ought to respond in a range to restabilize. Their self-esteem, their sense of self-state. In seethe, in a range to restabilize that. So that's variable self-esteem. Presently the following one is comparative to the other. It's responses to seen dangers to self-esteem. Responses to seen dangers to self-esteem. This can be like mortification, overcome. Feedback, disappointments. This seem incorporates sentiments of obvious or incognito outrage. Antagonistic vibe, envy, or disgrace. Disposition varieties are exceptionally common. Fractiousness, uneasiness, discouragement, euphoria. Or, it can indeed be components of duplicity and retaliating behavior. It's not exceptional for a parcel of people who have this specific characteristic, or those who are narcissistic, to do a part of detached forceful behaviors. To lock in in a lot of inactive forceful strategies. In a range to create others pay. A few people, it depends upon where they are on the range. So I think the advance you are. Your more serious and extraordinary narcissistic people. They tend to feel exceptionally entitled to outwardly express their hate, right, so they do not have a part of great self-control, so they fair let people have it, since they have a right to do that. But I think the direct ones, which of course direct is really more common, direct levels of narcissism is much more common. I think that these people what happens is that they, some of them are able to sit back kind of in their head and like mm -hmm, affirm. That may well be let's say you're playing table tennis. Right, ping pong. Tongue clicking. Right? And after that right, you beat them. And they may sit there and say, affirm, mm -hmm, fine. You win, fine. I'm gonna beat you by doing A, B, and C. At that point they lock in in these strategies to just sort of tear you up 
right? They do that in all these diverse ways. And you're like, what is that around? You discover it difficult to accept that. How may occurrences for losing a ping pong amusement cause somebody to see against you in that way? But that's how these people work. That's how they work. It's responses to these seen risk to self-esteem. They see you as a danger to their way of being. So they got to take that person out. Presently that doesn't cruel murder or passing. Or anything like that. What meaning is to harm you in a few way. To get one up on you in some way. There's a part of occurrences that you'll see within the news. And in others lives and in case you know these people. Otherwise you see these individuals on TV. You'll see that if. They may say something that's totally untrue, right? That produces no sense at all. At that point, when they're called on it. Because there's no evidence to bolster that. You see that they indeed ended up more entrenched in this thought. And at that point they become passive forceful. To make those individuals pay. Whether it's in the event that they're able to fire them. Or in the event that they're able to control them. Or if they're able to annihilate their life in a few way. They will lock in in that behavior to do that. It is so extraordinary and that's all since. Of a seen risk to their self-esteem. To that self-image, that narcissistic self-image state. So that's the third one. So let's conversation around the fourth one. Self-enhancing interpersonal behavior. It's a self-enhancing interpersonal behavior. This is over-the-top consideration or deference-seeking. Self-promoting. They can often be exceptionally egotistic. Exceptionally, exceptionally competitive. So which might even be like with their kids. Like in the event that they have a youthful kid. That may be their out. Tossing the baseball around or anything. That gets to be a competition. This narcissistic individual has got to beat them. They got to get over on them. They have to win and maybe they're just playing ball. With their seven-year-old. This person's and grown up, so they need to win. They ought to have those. Self-enhancing interpersonal behaviors. They lock in in it all the time. They require that steady consideration. They require that consistent deference looking for. Since that makes a difference approve that moves self-esteem. Presently the following one. This is often self-serving interpersonal behavior. Self-serving interpersonal behavior. Presently, this is anticipating sort of outlandish. Or outlandish rights and administrations. They fall flat to respond favors from others, right? Fall flat to reciprocate favors from others. They feel entitled. We'll conversation almost entitlement specifically. In a moment, because it falls beneath this. Right, they feel very entitled. Or taking enthusiastic, mental, or social advantage of others. So they're exceptionally exploitive. Now in this self-serving interpersonal behavior, privilege falls beneath that. There's a lot of disarray between the characteristic of entitlement and narcissistic personality disorder. Notice this is often one component that we're talking about. 
just cause people are entitled? Does not cruel that they're narcissistic? Presently depends upon the degree, right? But that's one component. So when I do trainings and I talk to clients and things, privilege doesn't rise to narcissism, right? Or narcissistic personality disorder. It is one component. So privilege is that I do not have to be do anything. That I am just meriting of it, right? So do not anticipate me to work since I do not got to. Since I am that uncommon and one of a kind. So that's a self-serving interpersonal behavior. Presently the following one is dodging. Maintaining a strategic distance from Inside, self-sufficient or interpersonally controlling Far off, or they can indeed be Have an uncommitted state of mind or behavior That serves to dodge dangers to self-esteem Or unfortunate impacts So they dodge anything that will disturb them, right? Anything that will be an enthusiastic circumstance. Past what they can control and what they can oversee. So what they do is, they attempt to control these circumstances. I did a video on this. And we conversation particularly approximately enrolling. Enlisting. Now enrolling is that you just drag individuals. In your environment and in your interpersonal circle that legitimize your narcissism. Individuals with narcissistic identity clutter are exceptionally, exceptionally great at that. Usually that component. They do it to maintain a strategic distance from the reality of connections. Connections are variable, right? No matter how extraordinary they are, or how awful they are. They are variable. Sincerely variable. That's cause our temperaments alter each day. That's for everyone. For anyone to anticipate your temperament to be the same. From Monday to Friday, to Saturday, to Sunday. Which to incorporate each Monday, Saturday. Sunday or anything, is unlikely. All of our temperaments alter and they vacillate. Based upon where we are in life. A parcel of distinctive circumstances and distinctive reasons. And so on and so on and so forward. But, what your narcissist does. Since they do not have a parcel of feelings to drag from. They do not have a part of understanding. Of diverse variabilities, they attempt to constrain. Their interpersonal circle. Thus, they enroll individuals that do not challenge them. Or push back on those narcissistic seas and values. They maintain a strategic distance from anything that may well be. Destructive to them candidly, troublesome for them emotionally or cognitively as well cause they despise to seem imbecilic right since on the off chance that you make a botch doesn't that break even with that you're doltish of course it doesn't since we all make botches botches are awesome since we learn from those botches that's not how narcissists see it. So the following one that we're gonna conversation approximately is being forceful. Presently typically obviously communicated or inside concealed interpersonal factious and basic, angry, unfriendly, detached, forceful pitiless or savage state of mind or behavior. These people can be exceptionally, exceptionally forceful. 
particularly in case they bring about a narcissistic wound. So forceful, inclination towards animosity is a component of narcissism. But where does it come from? Keep in mind, in all my recordings, I conversation almost center substance and surface substance. So what is that center substance? A parcel of people for a narcissistic identity. Or those who have narcissism or narcissistic characteristics. Underneath may be a parcel of disgrace, question, fear, inadequacy. All of those issues. And when they get called out or they have an encounter. That triggers that core content. A parcel of times, the surface structure behavior is forceful behavior. So a part of times it is fair, impactful, gigantic, see scenes that I talked approximately fair a moment prior. They lock in in this behavior and a part of times. They have destitute passionate control, self-regulation so they can truly get misplaced in their animosity. Particularly, in the event that the other person truly kind of backs up. Appears a parcel of fear that empowers that person. To proceed to be forceful. To act in a forceful way. That doesn't cruel that it's that person's blame. Who's anxious of somebody who's being forceful. That's a beautiful typical reaction. But it's imperative to recognize that after you appear that fear, that person with narcissism or narcissistic identity clutter, that that nourishes that and they like it. So they're like, goodness better believe it. They engage increasingly. So that's aggressive. The another characteristic is perfectionism. Typically outstandingly tall or resolute. Hair splitting. Even though it is inconsistent. Beliefs and benchmarks of self and others. Presently usually solid responses, counting animosity. We talked around self-harsh feedback. That would be amid your more undercover stage. Disgrace or trickery when self or others come up short to degree up. Ordinarily, they have this unlikely desire of self and others. So this sense of perfectionism is so unlikely no one might ever, ever meet it. You fair couldn't, since you'd got to be in someone's head and know what they anticipate Sometime recently they knew to anticipate it. They're gonna be like, huh? Right, how seem you ever do that? I can't get in your head and know what to anticipate. Sometime recently you expect it. But that's their sense of perfectionism. Is that you ought to know that. How seem you not know that? And in case you do not know it, at that point they call you doltish or inept or anything like that then they can lock in in these other behaviors right like we talked almost seethe passive aggressive behaviors so on and so forth so that's that component of hair splitting presently the another one is impeded empathic ability impaired empathic ability Presently this is conflicting and compromised by self-centeredness, self-serving interface, or passionate dysregulation. So it's like a mu successful tolerant, mu passionate resistance, or strongly responses, disgrace, envy, mediocrity, feebleness, or outrage. So what happens is, is that what you involvement? Your enthusiastic encounters 
are lovely pertinent to theirs. Theirs is so extraordinary. It could fair be a component of pity. That they involvement, while you maybe have had. A disastrous misfortune, or something very genuine. That has happened in your life. Can be a separate, a death of a cherished one. Whatever it may be. But, they don't empathize with that. Since they're pitiful. You ought to know almost their pity is much more critical. Than your involvement, right? So that impeded empathic capacity. You see this sort of callousness built up over time. Where they're just, they fair do not care. They just do not appear to care approximately anyone or anything. Since they've enrolled individuals. In their interpersonal circle. Who acknowledge this and tolerate this. Over a period of time that no one challenges them. So at that point, that sense of impeded empathic capacity really gets to be exceptionally versatile in their circumstance. So, they're really strengthened. For that disabled empathic capacity, since the individuals around them do not challenge them on it. Hello, we're not accusing anyone. We're fair depicting that circumstance. The last one, number 10, you're not gonna be shocked almost, is consideration looking for. Consideration looking for. Usually an over-the-top endeavor to attract. And be the center of the consideration of others. They are attention-seeking. Deference looking for. They got to have the highlight. Typically where you get a small bit of. A theatrical identity kind of feel to them. But their consideration looking for, deference looking for. They need that all the time. Maybe you know, right? When people who do not have this component. In some cases, you know you're in the highlight, right? And you did something truly well. And individuals are like, hey, man. Good job, nice work. You're like, no doubt, that's cool. But they require it all the time. Over and over and over and over and over. So they require, at a boys, at a young ladies, all the time. So they're like small kitties. And you've got to pet them all the time. They need that consideration all the time. It's very attempting and exceptionally troublesome for others. Which is why a part of times. I do not just like the word codependency. But they're able to discover people. That do have this sense of codependency. That need to feel great around themselves. By attempting to make others feel good about themselves. Which your narcissistic people never feel good approximately themselves since they fault others for why they do not feel great about themselves. So they're attempting to create other individuals endure so that at that point they can feel good and capable. So the codependent person within the relationship tries to form them okay, so they're okay. But they're never a firm, cause they have the narcissism. Which could be a core content issue that never gets tended to. Since it's secured by the surface substance of narcissism. On the off chance that that sounds confounding, you will require to rewind it. Listen it a small bit. That's really the components of narcissism. I didn't make that up. So I trust that these 10 components have been helpful for you. 
Now remember in spite of the fact that, that just one or two of these doesn't fundamentally cruel, that they have narcissistic identity clutter. What we're talking almost what makes narcissism. Presently agreeing to the DSM, you require five or more. But also, these behaviors, they moreover got to cause. Financial brokenness. Socioeconomic dysfunction. That's trouble in social relationships. Economic relationships. If they're school age, they're having trouble scholastically. So they have to be have that trouble in those aspects as well. Two, cannot be seen when you're tanked or high. Also, cannot be the result of taking medication. Cannot be the result of a traumatic brain harm or a therapeutic condition. So, it's exceptionally complex and there's a parcel of distinctive features. So I trust that these 10 components have made a difference you to kind of get a more noteworthy knowledge into the sense of narcissism. And it's truly critical to sort of be able to recognize these things in how these individuals work and work which can allow you a lot of control. With a parcel of power comes choice. Choice is control as well. Since then you'll be able choose on the off chance that this can be somebody you need in your interpersonal circle or not. I think it's vital for all of us to go through our life and say, no doubt, you know, this individual is nice. This is some person I'd like in my life. At that point to say, you know what? Maybe it's not working out and maybe it's time to move on. That's hard and after that we need to break that down too. So, with a lot of my clients, we do that apart. We do sort of relationship analysis where we can figure out, is this a relationship that makes a difference you move forward? Since as you develop and create a greater sense of self, you find that sometimes we have to self-select out of connections. That may be an entirety another video. Self-selecting out of undesirable connections or developing out of connections. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.